And Junior lines it into deep left field. And the Royals are still breathing. It's 10-8. a lot of strikes he likes to work up in the zone and Bobby gets right on top of that one and 110 miles an hour later he's on with a one out single Bobby with junior oh. deep right center field and Martin won't get it he slams into the wall and that is an easy triple well with that crosswind when you hit the ball in the right center field gap pretty strong crosswind blowing from the right field foul pole to the left is going to hold it in it certainly did. Martin with a great effort there. Ober's got to like the effort. Fortunately, he's okay. And it's a no-brainer, no easy triple. Oh. Deep center. Martin is back. All the way back. He is three-quarters of the way to the cycle. Oh, good gracious. Now, look. On contact, it sounded loud. And the height of the baseball with the wind crosswind you could tell look at him golf that out of there that's a solid three wood if I've seen one off a baseball bat that is nice <laughs> is that his real hair or is that a does junior have his own wig already he's got quite a flow but I'll yeah. tell you I love the eye black the facial hair and everything well hit Boy, center field Mullins is back and Bobby Wood Jr. has his second home run of the year <laughs> what a sound that was like Yesterday's home run. Oh like yeah, a, he stayed swinging right, a golf club. Right, and he's staying right down through the ball and lifting, and finishing high. That's some kind of swing, and it sounded like he got every drop of that ball, every ounce of it. Ground ball up the middle. Bobby Wood Jr. will get it to second, and the Royals get the second out. That's a great play. And Hud, maybe the most difficult part of that play was. The body position he was in after he got the ball and somehow find it in his glove and get it to Frazier. Yeah, sometimes you fight your body it, when you get stuck in that mud there. You see how he's stuck? And, you know, it's a little bit sticky out there. An error. Well hit. Right center. And off the wall. And there goes Bobby to third. And Vance Wilson's going to hold him up there. He went in standing and rounding third base. But a triple makes it a one-run game. All right, Junior loves that middle of the field, but he'll also go opposite field, find those gaps. But that's a nice shot out there. Just Junior's third RBI. They'll take it. The runner on first, nobody out in the bottom of the first inning. Scoreless game. Brings up Bobby Witt Jr. Witt bounces it back up the middle. Base hit into center field. Garcia around second base. He digs for third. Dubon's throw on a bounce. Tag not in time. And Witt gets to second on the throw. By the way, the Royals' six-game winning streak is the longest in Major League Baseball this year. Jr. gets it up into the wind. Deep right field. Gone! And the Royals hang a nine on the scoreboard in the first inning. Stay hot, fellas. My goodness. 1-1. One, one. Breaking ball grounded by the mound. It's Bobby colliding with the second baseman Lofton. He still throws the batter runner out at first base as he and Lofton came together well to the right of second base. And they both are okay. That's amazing as Lofton had to leap over Bobby. The athleticism by Junior gets kicked in the head by a second baseman. Had the, the focus to get the out in front of him. They went in that dugout, and that whole dugout's coming down with laughter. And there's a base hit to right field. Bobby has a three hit game, and now it's bobbled for a moment by Tucker. And Bobby's always going hard, and he took a couple steps towards second. First and third, two down. Two and oh. Hitters count for Bobby. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep right center. Their center fielder's back. He's looking up, and that ball's out of here. And opposite field, three run homer for Bobby Witt Jr. 13 to 3 KC. Two home run day for Bobby, a four hit day, and it's all Royals on this Thursday, 13 to three. Deep short, Junior slides on the grass, one hop, Vinny's got it, and that's out number one. Showing some range and that cannon for an arm, top spin too. Now he got it. Now he's got to be able to find that that grip. 
One hopper use the carpet. Look at Vinny. No problem. Boy, that's beautiful. The grass is nice, especially in a long hop like that made it easy for Vinny. Carved to right center field. Carpenter breaks into the gap. Can't get it. It's all the way to the fence. Isbell scores easily. Here comes Garcia. Bobby Witt Jr. gets held at third. Oh. He was thinking about it. Oh, man. He could have done it. I'm sure he could have, but you better credit Vance Wilson for that. Oh, yeah. And now more Tiger fans are heading to the aisle. Slap to shallow center. Witt races back. Oh, he got it. Another tremendous catch from Bobby Witt Jr. Come on. Yeah, Colt Keith you know, hadn't been around long enough to know better than to hit the ball right there on Jr. Look at him. He takes his eye completely off the ball. He sees it almost overran it. He's so fast. But he was able to use his athleticism and cradle that in just like a touchdown catch in the end zone. Beautifully done. Up the middle, Jr. slides from a knee. Throws! In time to get Bichette. Go ahead, Junior. Beautiful play. Plus five outs above average as a shortstop rated top five in Major League Baseball. That was coming into today, right? That was coming into so today. I, I would call that an out above average. I, right would, there. I would think yeah. after today, Bobby probably will be the number one rated defense, defensive shortstop in the game. Not doing much often. Junior due for a homer. Blow wind. And a long time. And it is gone. April 11th was his last one, and now he, I had a good feel for him today. Those fans are going, yeah, well, too bad. Those Royals are at it again. And a little slider. Okay, now he got up underneath that, but you could, he, he got extreme. That ball's going to carry deep right center field to the wall, and this one hits the bottom of the wall. Watch him run. Speaking of a deer. <laughs> Look at this. Great placement. He's at it again. Sixth triple. There you go. And that's first in the league. Yeah, we love to watch him sprint. Now, that's 90 a lot off a lefty. A lot of guys are going to pull that, but he kept his hands inside the ball, shooting the opposite field gap, and they were playing him that way. And Junior sees that. That's a cakewalk to third. That is beyond the green. And into the water. The second deck. Five nothing Royals in the second inning. Well, that split finger, when it hangs, it can be hit a long way. We just saw it. That's a hanging splitty that he catches perfectly. 468 footer of beauty into the upper tank hydration station here at the cave. And the Tigers bring in their closer, Jason Foley. And Bobby greets him with another blast in the left center field. Gone! Wow. That is goes again. He's hot. 108 exit velo off the barrel, a 425 footer, and you could tell when he hit it, it sounded loud and it was long. On the ground, deep short. Junior will go to first, and Correa is out. Wow! He can make that play. It's not easy, especially when the ball's not hit all that hard. A two-three hopper, and he gets to it. Very quick with that arm swing over the top. Man, that's that's gold glove material right there, folks. That is not an easy play. He made it look easy, technically sound, and great play. Carter right. hits it off the end of the bat. Witt tracks it into shallow left and makes the catch. Tatis is trying to tag. Throw home. Salvi got him. Double play. Hey. He'll take it. Number nine hitter now in his Ocar. Lifted it short and Witt makes the play. That's getting up to get the out. Yeah, you got to time it because he hit a changeup, but that's good timing. The young superstar was able to time it perfectly and bring in that third out for Schreiber. Bobby Witt Jr. struck out in his first at bat. Well hit left center field and deep, and the Royals have two home runs. In the third inning, and they lead three nothing. Came out of his release point. It was at Junior's eyes, so that tells you it's a hanger. And when you get the underside of that overhand curveball, it accelerates the spin and takes off. That's seven or eight rows up. Bobby Wood Junior hit a long two-run home run last inning, and he goes that way again. What row is this one going to land in? <laughs> wow! Almost the exact same spot. 
And Bobby Wood Jr. has his second two run home run in the last two innings. Love that sound. That was loud. Okay, it was a curveball for the last pitch he saw and for the homer. And now he thinks he's going to sneak some cheese by him up there at 91. I don't think so. On the ground, fair! The game is tied. Bobby Wood Jr. is ripping around third base. In there with a game time triple. Split finger. That's the, the best pitch, split finger he's thrown all night. That's the only pitch that, with that split that's made it over the plate in a good hitting area. And Jr. capitalizes and it plays in front of him. And man, this brings the house down. Look at Vance Wilson helping him out with that slide. Reaching out, Bobby Wood Jr. into the outfield. Unbelievable play. And a double oh, he's play. Gonna turn it. Wow. Stop it. <laughs> and on his 24th birthday, gives a gift to Cole Reagans. Dodger fans just got treated to something that maybe they hadn't seen before. They just got bobbied. Bobby is struck out, grounded out to second, and grounded out to short. Belted to left field, and the Royals come right back on a long home run by Bobby Witt Jr. And we talked about after giving up that lead, Bobby Witt Jr. is the one you want in that batter's box late in the game, tie ball game, and shows why he is playing like Superman. Gets that little slider and does exactly what Bobby Jr. Witt does with those hanging crippled pitches is hit him out in the seats in left field. Well over 400 feet. Gives the Royals a 3-2 lead. Quiet. A lot of anxiety. Bounding ball up the middle. Backhanded stop by Westberg. Throw to first. Not in time. Bobby Witt Jr. beat it. A great stop by Westberg and a terrific effort to make the play at first base. But he could not. And the Royals lead as Isbell scores from third. I mean, just tremendous play to get to a hard hit ball. 109 miles an hour off the plate, but he had the out at second. I'm surprised he did not go there. Knowing the speed of Bobby Witt Jr. who beats this out. Chop to third. Tough play McMahon and the bobble. That's all it takes with Bobby Witt Jr.'s speed. And he'll be on to begin the top of the third inning. Justin Lawrence gives up a ground ball to deep short. And Tovar isn't able to get it to first in front of Bobby Wood Jr., who has his second infield hit today. Yeah, Tovar gave it a good effort right there. Made it closer than I would have thought it had been off the bat. Bobby, that second base hit, multi-hit machine lately. Hooking into the corner and gone over the tall left field corner, 347. And Bobby Wood Jr.'s third hit today is a three-run home run. Well, hopefully they got a few more minutes for voting. Because if they do, Bobby Witt Jr., if his case wasn't already solidified, is throwing out quite the afternoon this Sunday here at Coors Field. He gets down and just gets through that baseball, creates all kinds of backspin. Deep left center field. Back goes Rafaela. It is gone. Works every time. Talk about him going into the home run derby. And, oh, that's Maritza. What? Who is a member of the Royals front office who ended up with a souvenir in left center field and the oh. Royals lead 5-1. What a shot. Oh, that little sweeper got swept right out of the yard. Oh, yeah, one to one Royals employee. Look at this. Love it. Two balls and a strike on Bobby Witt Jr., who was center stage down in Texas. And Bobby Witt Jr. tees off to left. That's a four-seamer in. Look at how he keeps his hands in there by his chest and just kind of pulls it and lets the barrel do the talking and the work. And, you know, you hit 50 home runs in the derby, you, you got that swing down. So Flexen was a little bit shocked he hit it that far. On the ground right side, and that's going to get by Walker. And Bobby Wood Jr. is on for a second time. And that is base hit. Number 14 since the All-Star break. To be able to pick up the baseball out of the release point, that takes some skill to do that. There's base hit number 140. <laughs> just... That's a base hit. Bobby's on for a fourth time tonight. And Garcia will go first to third. Bobby popped out to second in the first inning. 20 for 40. And that's hit to the gap in right center. And he will extend the hitting streak. And he bounces it over the wall for a double. 
30th double way to round, round it off. Bobby Witt Jr. with a double and it scored back in the third inning. Deep short. And Nicky Lopez knows better. And he just kept the ball in his throwing hand, knowing that there was very little chance he was going to throw out Bobby from that spot. And now Bobby has two hits tonight. Junior has his third hit. And another three hit game. He now has four consecutive three hit games against the White Sox. Base is loaded. Bobby Witt Jr. at the dish. to gain a little confidence. Deep short, Junior's throw is in time to get the pinch hitter jolts. And how about that start to the bottom of the ninth? Well, that's a stupid hit. You can't hit to that guy. You know you're not gonna get on base there, but a nice try. That ball was in the hole. Junior sat and fired, and he's high. On both sides of the ball, you can't beat him. But the point is that James MacArthur should be expecting the best now in this role. No way. Wow! My! He just can't draw it up any better. For the last out, a diving play in the hole. That's two great backhands in the inning to end it. MacArthur got some help by the greatest player on, hottest player on earth right now. This is the best win of the season for the Royals. Line to left field. That is gone. A screamer to left. Hardly any launch angle at all. And Bobby's first hit in August is a home run. And the Royals have their biggest lead of the night. What a nice swing. 20th homer. 18 degrees launch angle. That's pretty low, but that is a shot. Knew he would check in this month. Just didn't know when. Notable. Oh! Did he get it? Hooking into the corner, gone. Number 21. And two batters into the bottom of the first inning, and the Royals have scored more runs against Crawford tonight than they did in seven innings last month. Better believe it, that's what we're talking about, putting some pressure on him. That's a breaking ball that just stayed on the outer half, but it was elevated enough for Junior to get the end of the battle. Line up the right field line, that is a fair ball. On an 0-2 pitch, Garcia scores, Massey scores, Junior is driven in three, and the Royals have regained the lead. What a skillful at bat. You can't sneak a piece of cheese by a hungry Junior. Bobby slams it to center, the wind is blowing in, Rafaela is back. tonight. Oh, baby. 96 middle. He hit it. And that is drilled to left field. A line drive home run into the first row. And right into the hands of a Royals fan. A Royals fan wearing a Bobby Witt Jr. jersey. Oh, no less. How about that? He hammers baseballs. We know that. Anything in his way. Look at this guy. He's, he's blown away, and he should be. That ball was written for him. That's a hanger. And that Royals fan said, what? Are you kidding Bare me? Barehanded, by the way. Oh, he should be fired up. Oh. He got on top of that one. Deep left center field and gone. And his second home run of the series. Number 24 and the Royals lead 2-0 in the third. All right. You want to get on top of a fastball, above average fastball in this business here? This is what you do. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. Second time up now for Bobby Wood Jr. Well, his bat has Pablo Sanchez on the barrel. If you know anything about backyard baseball, you know that only means good things. Now, Witt has basically been the Pablo Sanchez in real life this season. Fastball drilled, deep to left field. Steer turns around, it's way out of here. Second deck home run, Bobby Witt Jr. A not so secret, secret weapon with the Pablo Sanchez bat. 
It's his 25th home run of the season, and the Royals have a 1 0 lead in the top of the four. Well, Wits hit the ball hard twice. He's also lined to left. Martinez rocks and delivers. Breaking ball smacked down the right field line. A fair ball skittering into the right field corner. And Bobby's off to the races around first. Benson has trouble in the right field corner. Witt stops at second. And it's a leadoff double for Bobby Witt Jr. His second hit of the game. Making tonight his 53rd multi-hit game of the season. Special players do special things. He's all over the baseball, folks. That off day was good for Junior. And that is going to be a diving play by Marte at third, but that's all he can do is keep the ball out of the outfield. And Bobby has another three-hit game. He homered in the fourth, doubled in the sixth, and now a hit here in the seventh. Multi-hit wit once again. Well, he has more multi-hit games than any player in baseball with now 53. First and second now with one out for Bobby Wood Jr. Right side and through. Here comes Isbell. The Royals lead is 7-1 and Garcia slides into third. And that is base hit number 500 for Bobby Wood Jr. Only George Brett reached 500 hits at a younger age in Royals history than Bobby Wood Jr. Yes. And Witt drives it deep to center. Rojas is back. He looks up. It's out of here. 26th home run of the season for Bobby Witt Jr. He puts the Royals on the board with a 441-foot blast. Now it's a good thing Junior was looking for that heater. Look where he's setting up, up and away. That's where he wants it. And Junior says, I'll take middle up, up and away. In the air, deep to left center field. Quad in the track, turns around, it's out of here. Believe it. Bobby Witt Jr. gives the Royals the lead. A solo blast into the bleachers. And it's 4-3 to three in the top of the eighth. Yeah, that first one that got us threw him 91 right down the middle. Junior's telling himself, oh man, I wanted that one. Okay, he'll take 91 down. Second straight game with a home run for Bobby Witt Jr. 27th. That's out over the plate, into the left field corner, and gone up onto the patio. And the Royals have their third home run of the game. That one didn't leave the, with the normal trajectory of the line drive. That was a high arcing shot, and, and you could tell it had plenty of distance. There you go. And he drives it deep to left toward the Crawford boxes and gone. Oh, somebody called NASA. <laughs> he just sent that ball to orbit. <laughs> that split finger, he got up underneath it. Well, that was a Texas-sized home run, and the Royals are now within three. That gives him 29. Oh, and two. Oh, Rip man. to left. It's high enough, it's deep enough, and it's gone. Bobby Witt Jr. 30th home run of the season is a missile to the Crawford boxes. It was a 380 foot frozen rope. Oh, can't sneak a piece of cheese by Jr. Really? Oh, man. Tattered and battered and not walking. That ball was scalding. This guy is just incredible. And have tied the game at two and have the go ahead run at third base. And Bobby Witt Jr. coming up. Line to center field. That will land a base hit. Isbell scores. Royals take the lead 3-2 here in the eighth. The most outstanding player in the game gets a pitch that's out of the zone. Stay with it. Bat ball is through. He flips it out to center field. RBI puts the Royals ahead. 3-2. The pitch. And a swing. And a little popper. Shallow left. Bobby on the run. Can he get there sliding? He makes the catch. And records the final out of the inning. Bobby's been busy in the outfield grass tonight. And as you know, he's not an outfielder, but he's played plenty of outfield this evening. There's a drive into deep left field, and there's RBI number 100. And home run number 31 for Bobby Witt Jr. And the Royals lead 1-0 in the first. Well, I think it's a fantastic day for Bobby Witt Jr. to get RBI number 100. I think we kind of baited him into that right there. Talk about a little mini slump that includes a six game hit streak. Get him on the board with a home run. Big swing right there. Mitch Keller, he'll give up the home run on occasion. Royals offense, early damage once again. Oh, high fly ball left field. 
Hooking into the corner. It is gone for a grand slam. Bobby Baseball waiting for a cookie. Found one, and he hit it high and far. Look at this baby hang. He waits perfectly. Great angle. Catches it. Got the backspin. Hooks it around the pole. Beautiful swing. Setting the stage for Bobby Witt Jr. And now Bobby is one hit away from 200. Slow roller. Isbell. And a ball. Right. Safe at first base. The Royals get a run. And the Tigers do not record an out. And we'll wait and see how they score it. It was a bobble by Hannafy, but they're going to call it an infield hit. And Bobby Wood Jr. has 200 hits and counting in 2024. Jr. goes, pitches down the way. The side on throw is going to be late. The tag got Bobby on the back of his legs, but did his hand get to the bag first? And the Tigers are going to challenge it. And, oh, and that's a tight one. It looked close. It looked like a tie. Ooh, I don't know. But Bobby Hugh, the call in the field stands. Runner is safe. Detroit loses their challenge. Reaching, and a pop up into shallow left. And it's going to drop. And Bobby ends up at second base. But it looked like McKinstry lost it, and Sweeney just assumed he was going to make the play. Yeah, this is the shortstop Trey Sweeney's ball all the way. And look at him. He looks down, looks up. You know, you got to keep your eye on that ball and go to it and catch the ball. Probably not what Bobby had in mind for his record-setting 87th extra base hit of the year. Gallo hits a line drive and a diving play by Bobby Wood Jr. Defense showing up, pitching out of the bullpen showing up. Timely hit so far. Royals seem to be back on their game. Sharpen some things up. In the hole, base hit, Bobby Witt Jr. Drives in the first run of the postseason. Garcia in from third. So fitting that it should be Bobby Witt Jr. to get the Royals first on the board. How about the adjustments he made? First at bat to second at bat to third at bat. In fact, it was all the same pitch. Cutter away. Speaking of all for the game, he's like, this is all that he is going to throw me. It's off the end of the bat.